this is not a spring check-in. We have our cans daily to bring to you. This is Friday, May. No, it's not Friday. It's, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, May 21st. May 21st. There's only five more days to go, folks. Mm -hmm. We have our quote of the day. I need films that make me want to live to leave the cinema and get out there. Louis Garab. And we got some more actors uh, going to be in attendance today. Some of them that were there are gone now. I mean, Jimmy Conn was there for one day, I think. They're Just for one day? Yeah, well, you there. know, we talked about them coming in for one day and then leaving. Yeah. And then they had the After the Candelabra party, so that's why Matt Damon, Bruce, um, Matt Damon and Michael Douglas were in town. Yeah. But uh, we have uh, Catherine Deneuve is there. That's for the Umbrellas of Schoberg, folks. Mm -hmm. Which she's never seen and doesn't have. It's a musical with her sister, Francois Bouillac. Mm -hmm. Richard Dreyfuss. We have Will Forte, which is sort of strange. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking yesterday about Ryan Gosling is there now. Ah, Garrett Edlund is still there. Mila Jovovich. This is new. She hasn't been showing up on these. No. Jerry Lewis, Finally the tribute. Showed up I know. They must be doing the tribute today or something. Yeah, that's be my guess. Uh, Kate Morgan, Kristen, or Warren? Warren, Warren, and Kristen Stop, Thomas, and James Tobak. Those are the new ones added to our list. Now we got that. Now we got one in competition, which is uh, behind, you know, behind the candelabra. With which is why Michael Douglas and Matt Damon are there, right? Yeah. Basically, it, it's bringing Stephen. Uh, Valentin, uh, you know, based on the life of Valentino Liberace, bring Stephen Sondheim to the festival. Now here's the thing I'm curious is, I thought that they shouldn't, weren't supposed to have played before they were there, because this has already been in the television, hasn't it? I know, well the problem comes is that, um, I don't know, remember that, uh, that Angelina Jolie won her Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in a thing that had been on television mm -hmm. already, so. Well, but part of it is last year, one of my friends, their their was it, their film was in competition, and they got pulled out of competition because they found something up on YouTube where somebody was taking some scenes from oh, I know. the movie. So this has already been on television. So uh, I don't understand, but it's uh, basically okay. because they're they're big on gay rights in Europe, and this is a gay rights thing. And, and, but okay, there's no market for it in the theaters in the United States, so they're running it around the world, but mm. they're. Um, basically, he, he, there was six times, six lives in videotape which won in the Palm d'Or in 1989. For Soderbergh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, he put together an all-star cast, uh, which is uh, basically what it is. Um, Michael Dubb has been directed by Sonny Bird twice before in Traffic, which got the best Oscar film. And Haywire, Matt Damon is a regular. Oh, it's their seven times working together. That's a lot, seven yeah. times. Yeah, well, part three of them were in the Oceans trilogy, so. Oh. Yeah, but there's, yeah, that, this is an unusual one. Oh, that's also, this that's, why also got, that's why Rob Lowe is there. Yeah, the film's cast also includes Rob Lowe, Scott Bakula, and Debbie Reynolds. I would have wow. thought that Scott Bakula and Reynolds would have showed up because this is the, I don't think Reynolds has been in anything that's been in competition for a long time, and I would know Bakula hasn't, so. And we did see Rob Lowe's name on it, when was it, yesterday? Yeah. And according to the film's producer, Jerry Weintraub, Actors are lining up to work with Soderbergh because they know they'll learn a lot from him. He's a great guy to work with because he's right there with his camera opposite with them. And they know that he understands them. The influential American producer who was lucky enough to once meet Liberace in person embarked on this latest project with great enthusiasm. Well, actually, I worked with Liberace. Liberace, you know, was not quite the per Okay, first of all, he was flamboyant because the Hollywood... We got to his, the black tux he was supposed to be wearing at the Hollywood Bowl had been uh, messed up and he had to wear a white tux jacket instead and they got this, I'm mm -hmm. like, God, look what he had done. <laughs> Scandal, white tuxedo. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the extra stuff is, the more they did, is you're up on stage, it's a presentation, right? Yeah. But, you know, like everybody knows, Liberace was a classical pianist that really hit big in television because he, he, he basically, in the early 50s, they liked people that basically talked to them, and that's what Liberace did. Uh, they so, talk and then play. It was like the age, what is it, the age of the variety show? He would come out and play the piano, talk with about his family, and, and, and talk. It was a variety show. He sang, he danced. He did, you know, comedy routines, which he was very good at. But uh, so I remember determined to, uh, to shoot in the actual place where he spent his time, Palm Springs, Las Vegas, and the artist apartment in Los Angeles. And to recreate the aesthetic of the time, the production designer Howard Cummings 
conducting an exotic scavenger hunt to track down all the props and instruments that would adorn the film's 30 or so different sets. More than biopic, Soderbergh's new film immerses us in the lavish world of the Hollywood of the late 70s. See, this is one of the two that's in competition. The other one has Jimmy Kahn that are somewhat favored in the... Well, who no. is Jimmy Kahn? I have to think it's going to be down the list. Okay. So. so in competition, uh, Takashi Milike adds survival to his list. Uh, after uh, Al, oh, I love that, after Al to Makado, oh, a musical and bloody romance projected in a chance screening in 2012, Tahishi Maki, the prolific and iconic filmmaker delivers a survival thriller with one notate shield of straw presented in competition. So, inspired by Kazuhiro Kyuchi's novel, Wara no Tate, recounts the spectacular misfortunes of Kunohei Kiyomara, suspected of murdering the granddaughter of one of Japan's biggest political figures, the billionaire Ninagawa. After a reward for his captures published in three of the country's biggest news newspapers, Kunohei Kiyomara decides that the best thing to do would be to turn himself in the police station in, in Fukuoka. But Ninagawa's incredible reward does not make his transfer easy. Kunahib Kiyomar and his escort of five policemen must face many dangers in a 1,200-kilometer journey to Tokyo. Sounds an awful lot like a Clint Eastwood movie called Gauntlet. Does it? Yeah, where I he never had to go. It. He had to go and uh, and pick up uh, Sandra Locke, and they basically were trying to knock him off continually. Mm. Uh, Tahachi decided that a filmmaker who tries everything just to add another genre to his list and feeding his infectious appetite. After the Yakuza film that marked the beginning of his success, Dead or Alive, his horror films, Audition, Imprint, his ultra-violent uh, thrillers, I Cheat a Killer, a 3D Samurai film, um, Death of a Samurai in Competition 211, in Wang, Wang no Tate, he orchestrates the, the opponent, uh, comp components of a survival thriller with a masterful hand. Enemies driven by supernatural power, the necessity of a cooperation is totally opposed in the opposite opposed individuals, breaking paranoia and all this stuff. Basically, um, you know, we got, you know, it basically is familiar with survival and horror genres, this fits in well with it. So mm -hmm. and it basically seemed to be the it, it seemed to be that they, they missed the um, the memo that said it's supposed to be women's movies this year. Yeah, uh, well, actually, there have. I think you said there were more women movies this year. Yeah, but the women movies are balanced towards women. I know that's not. There's good. only one woman director again nominated. So, mm. in competition, the autobiographical wire of Valeria Bruni Tedeschi. Mm. From Camels to Castles, the actress director continues to mine the intimate family-based autobiographical vein for her films. After. Um, Actresses at Dreams of the Night Before presented in Unfutten Regard in 2007. She's competing now for the Palme d'Or with a castle in Italy, Un Chateau in Italy. It is about a family that falls apart, about a dawning love and an Ellen brother. Yeah, okay. Basically, uh, Frederly, Fred, Derica, Micheline, Louise, the heroines of Valerie Brunet, Tishy are never far from her. A young woman who, with too much money, and Ila Fleur Spassel, Polo de Chandel is easier for a camel. 2003, a childless 40-year-old actress and actresses, a woman in love with a much younger man in New Chanteau in Italy called Castle in Italy. Uh, three films, three self-portraits. In a castle in Italy, she evokes the first time her brother who died of AIDS in a little hospital room. Uh, she comes from a prominent Italian family belonging to the industrial bourgeoisie. Oh boy, I love that word, bourgeoisie. <laughs> Uh, they immigrated to France in 73 when she was nine years old because they were fearful of kidnapping by the Red Brigade. Um, uh, Valerie films are always uh, exquisitely sensitive uh, between laughter and tears, always on the wire, of, uh, fragile and sensitive wire, like her voice soft and spoken. So let me go see if I can pull this one up for a second. We're going to see if I can get you on the Jimmy Kahn project because I didn't. It's probably because it's not till tomorrow, which is why I didn't have it up. Well, no, I do have it up, but I don't have it up on that list. So, uh, what do we call it here? Okay. Uh, blood ties, I think. Of course, Jimmy Down is blood ties. Uh, okay, I don't ha I, I'm not connected, so I can't bring it up. So, no, we'll, we'll tell you about blood ties tomorrow. 
which is Jimmy Kahn's movie. So I guess until then, this is old camp. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com or www.thetravelsuite.com, which basically has similar but different information. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And come like us and friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And of course, the information we have for on CAN is actually in two different locations, and it's not the same information. One is on MBN News Video Web, the other is on the Travel Suite. The Travel Suite has the videos linked towards her travel work. MBN News Video Web has the videos about what is going on in competition closer to today and such. It's mm -hmm. not available. They don't, they're not, they're one on one, one set of videos on one, one set of videos on the other. Well, on the Travel Suite, we I actually talk about the parties. Yeah, and, and the other we talk more about the business, the industry. So. Okay, anyway, come join us. Happy Cans 2013, and of course we're getting ready. The Monaco Grand Prix, people are starting to leave for that. And also here, well, actually people are getting, starting to get ready for Memorial Day. Yeah, okay. we are actually starting to wind down our coverage right now, as you can tell, because it's not as long today. Ooh, but come join us for more. Happy Cans.